You gotta be pretty damn twisted to let your kids swing from a lynch tree. Unless, of course, you're in the Adams family, in which case, holla at me, Morticia, with your fine ass. What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today, we're going to talk about this project from Brevin Kim, and it is called Somewhere Between Having Fun and Dying. Now, Brevin Kim is a duo from out of Boston. It's a group made up of two brothers. So if you want to find out more about them and check out this project, as well as their other music sites and links, just take a look at the information box I have for you underneath this video. But one of the main things I took away from this project is that you are going to hear some very, very familiar sounds, and you get that right from the first track, which really does set the tone. This one is called Might Crash slash When the Money Come, and here you're getting an auto-tune slash auto-croon banger, where you're hearing bars about bad bitches and just swerving on them. So, you know, this shit all around is pretty typical, but I would say that they pulled the sound off pretty nicely, if nothing else. I mean, the auto-tune effects sound okay, they have the audio quality tightened up, but there's not really anything about this track that separates them from a lot of what you're going to hear from other people. I mean, that's really one of the things you get with this whole project. Sounds pretty damn good, you're going to get some nice bangers and nice flows, including on the tracks our year all year and I started it although that last one does get a little bit carried away with distortion but I think what they really need to work on with this project or I should say with their next project what they should learn from this project is to find a way to separate themselves so when people hear their music they go hey that's a Brevin Kim track because you really are not going to get that here man I swear to god you're going to be reminded of like six or seven different artists as you listen through here so I already mentioned Future and Tory Lanes, but then on People First I think you're going to be reminded of Bones because of that bass heavy eerie production and also some of those very deep and somber vocal styles that he's known to bring. So clearly they are influenced by some of these other artists, which isn't to say they're biting. I mean, everybody is influenced, but you got to come with something much more original and creative if you really want to stick out. I know I'm going to say that a bunch of times through this review. I already have, but that is just the main point I keep coming back to. You're even going to hear a couple of hazy guitar tracks that really sound like Post Malone. I'm talking about the tracks Mission Impossible 17 and especially I Don't Want Her Love, where you actually hear some of those stuttery vocal effects that Post Malone is known for. So it really sounded like him, especially in that one instance. I think it was around 110 into the song. I was trying to remember where it's at, just so you know specifically what I'm talking about. And here you're just getting some very angry lyrics about a little bitch in some head. Nothing too deep. And for the most part, the content on here doesn't get too deep. I mean, you are going to get some typical braggy fun bars, as well as some relationships-based stuff. So it's pretty clear they're not trying to go too deep with the content. Content. It is what it is, just some bangers, some hazy auto croon vibes, and what have you. But if they did bring some better content or more unique vocal styles and bars, it really would make them stick out a lot more because this just sounds like a collection of them basically showing that they can impersonate other artists that are out there. But one song that did sound a bit different was that track Better Life, although this was definitely my least favorite track on here. It's just this sort of poppy rock country fusion track with heavy auto-tune. I don't know what this was supposed to be. It just sounded really strange and off to me. Although I will say it's a smart move because it does have a bit of a commercial feel to it. Like I could picture this playing in a teenage drama, maybe where they're just at a house party or something out in like Wisconsin or some shit like that. So you know what, I kind of get what they were going for with that one, but I just thought the overall genres blending together sounded kind of sloppy and off. However, I will give them some points here for some of those humorous lines because they had me laughing throughout some of these tracks, including on the minimalistic banger Isolate where there's some bars about just taking J-Lo from Drake and also taking Kylie from Tyga, although as we've seen recently, Tyga's been caught up in some shit with some other girls, so I don't even know if they're together anymore, so they might not even have to take Kylie from Tyga, but the one line that really made me laugh my ass off, oh my god man, this shit was pretty funny, was that bar about getting some head where the girl is spitting on it like Daffy Duck. And that actually came on the song Melania, and that shit just had me laughing, man. Just imagine some sloppy ass head. Get you some Daffy Duck head. That sounds really weird and gross, but he said it in the song, man. I'm just trying to come around back to what he said, man. The shit made me laugh, so whatever. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, I've already said multiple times the issues I have with this project, just the lack of originality overall. So I did think about a three, because I think sonically the sound here is nice. They do have good audio quality, and as far as imitating these other artists, I mean, they pulled it off pretty well. But the lack of creativity and originality makes me have to go with a 2.5, man. I was just listening through this, thinking of a bunch of other artists who are doing the same thing or have done it before them. 
them. So I think maybe if they messed around a bit with some more production styles and maybe just lightened up a little bit on the vocal effects or came up with some new ones that we don't hear overly often, that would make a big difference, as well as maybe bringing some more content and concepts into it. Again, it's pretty clear they're not trying to do that on this project. I understand that it's just supposed to be something fun, but when it's not very original and there isn't much with the content or the concepts, it's really just hard to really praise it and be overly interested. So that's what I thought about it. If you like some auto-tune and auto-croon bangers and some hazy tracks, for sure check this out. I think you'll like some of it. But if you are kind of tired of the sound, there's not really anything here overly new. So there you have it. Check it out and hit me up in the comments section with your thoughts. And make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff, man. Where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos. And of course, man, you gotta subscribe to my channel, click like on the Facebook page, and swing by my Instagram, at LukeJamesBGN. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.